Finn. Oh God. Hey guys, welcome to another dog vlog. Come here, yeah. <laughs> Good boy, Finny. <laughs> and on this video, I'm going to give you some tips on trimming your puppy's nails. It not, it, it does not include eating the nail clipper. Okay, we, well, let's jump into it right, meow. Man, it has been way too long since we've we've been together. <laughs> and if you are new here, welcome. So excited to have you, yes, yes. If you're here, it's because you love dogs and you wanna help with the mission to save all the damn dogs. So click that subscribe button. Join, join, our, join our little fam bam. Let's talk about nail trimming, especially as it relates to puppies. And then I'll show you how I do it with Finn. I have to deal with nail clipping more frequent than probably most because I do foster rescue dogs. Yeah, and so I get dogs that have unattended to nails, overgrown nails that I need to, to cut. So because of that experience, you know, people can't see through your fluff. Finn, can you sit? Good boy. <laughs> so because I have that, that experience, I have a couple tips up my sleeve that I would love to, uh, to share with you. The first tip is, oh here, say hi to my cat. <laughs> this is my cat Haven. Finn. Oh God. Oh God. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna cut this because this is this is a reality. Being a dog mom, um, Finn is not aggressive to cats, but he is curious. We're gonna do this. Okay, I just put her up in our cat tree because we're gonna we're getting too distracted here. Step one is just get them used to the clippers. Um, you you definitely never want to let them eat it. No, can you sit? So I've associated clippers with treats. So what I do, and that's why he's so mouthy with it. So what I do is I have some dehydrated uh, beef liver here. You can see, Penny. Ah. Uh. You can see the ah uh ah. -uh. Good boy. You can see them ah uh ah. -uh. You can see that here. He's being so bad for this video, but that's okay. We all have our good days and bad days, huh? Um, yes, good job, we'll reward that. And so I essentially just, when I first start, I have the nail clippers out and I just, every time he acknowledges them in a positive way or even just ignores them, I reward him. Good boy. So he doesn't, he doesn't associate them with anything bad. I do this over and over and over again. Okay, sit down. Yes. Yes, good boy. And then I'll start moving the clippers so you can get that noise and reward. Do this for a solid week every day before you ever try to clip their nails, period. Bring it out and just associate treats with clippers. Treats, clippers. And, and by the way, it doesn't have to be treats. Uh, you could do it with toys. You could do it with praise. You could just, hey, hey, happy, happy, yeah, good job, yeah. It doesn't have to be food. I just, he's food motivated and it, it, it works for me. I don't know. While you're also doing that and getting them accustomed and used to the clippers, you wanna get them accustomed to the position that you are going to be clipping their nails in. There are two ways that I use to clip dogs' nails. I'm not saying that these are the only ways, they're just the ways that work for me. So come here, Finnegan, come here. Let's show them. So the first position is standing up and I would usually be on the other side, but I'm trying not to block the camera. And you hold their paw gently up like this, and I'd, again, be standing on the other side, and then you would clip their nails like that. Um, that's what a lot of vet techs use, that's what my vet recommended to me, and that's something that you can do to kind of keep control of the dog and clip. You wanna get them used to that position, very comfortable with it, with reward, whether that's a pre treat, praise, toy, uh, before you start trying to clip their nails. You want them to be used to that position and that positioning um, being held like that thoroughly. Like that's gotta be comfortable. Otherwise you doing that while trying to clip their nails is, is no bueno. Now the second position, this may seem odd and take this with a grain of salt. This is just what works for Finn. I was actually at uh, a dog training seminar and this behaviorist was talking about uh, a hold that you can do with your dog that is not at all supposed to be alpha domineering by any means, even though it kind of looks like it. But she said that she's been using it for years and that it really helps with nail trimming and it also helps with bonding. And 
handling your dog. So I'll show you what that position's like. Again, if your dog is super uh, sensitive about being kind of held onto, which many are, I, I don't know if I recommend this. This is just what worked better for Finn when trying to clip his nails. Come here, Finn. Okay, so for this position, you wanna be up against a wall. Um, you can use a treat or a to toy to lure them um, into position. Come here. Okay, let's, it's so different now that he's so big. I've been doing this with Finn since he was just a couple months, a few months old. So he's used to this. Come here. Ready? Come here. Come here. Guide your butt. Okay. Then, okay, can you sit? Okay. Then you straddle your legs like so. And then you lure your hand back and pull them back. I'll try to cover his man parts. So this, for whatever reason, is the position that works best for him when clipping nails. Um, I think it's just because he feels, you can go ahead and go, uh, secure, and I've just been doing it with him for so long that it's just, I don't know, it just works best. So those are the two positionings. Then, after you get them comfortable with just this device in itself and existing, and getting them in the positions that they're gonna need to be in, then you can start clipping their nails. So I would start with literally one nail per day, they like cut just one nail at a time and then stop and then reward, yay, and then play fetch or whatever they like to do to reward it. And just do this, honestly, over a few weeks and it's gonna make your life so much easier. You, you saw how I was able to kind of pull him on his back, clip a nail, no big deal. And he's honestly, he doesn't like, he doesn't love to be just grabbed on. You know, some dogs are like teddy bears and they just wanna be squeezed in such a cute way. He, he's not that way, but, He's conditioned to accept it and understand it. And now, if he were to get something stuck in his paw, like a burr or a knot or something, I'd be able to get it out without as much issue if I hadn't practiced this. Please share your tips below because, like I said before multiple times, we are a fam bam here, and I learn from you just as much as you learn from, from my dogs. So comment below any ideas or advice you have. You might help others as well. And don't forget to click that subscribe button because our mission here together is to save all the damn rescue dogs and we can't I can't do that alone. I need your help. I need your help by promoting and sharing these videos so that we can help spread the message of the importance of fostering and adopting and rescuing and raw superior dog nutrition. And I hope that you have a beautiful